Here goes first the parts of the project. We have the PCB and a rectifier diode IN4007 four pieces. And we have the resistor 330K 2 watts. And we have also 400. 70 watts, uh, 7 or 170 ohms, 2 watts, and we have also here a capacitor 22 microfarad, 450 volts, and we have another here capacitor 1.5 microfarad, 400 volts, also, and other accessories like plugs and wires. So now, uh, it's time to solder the parts to, at the PCB. So first we install first all the electronic parts like resistor, capacitor, diode before we start to solder it. So this one, uh, this resistor is used as a leader resistor and it's a parallel to the filter capacitor to the 22 microfarad 450 volts yes. so now it's time to solder so the 1.5 microfarad 400 volts capacitor is parallel to 330k ohms resistor with our AC1 input and uh, soldering is done so it's time to cut those uh, excess wires to make it look good So the 330k ohms resistor is parallel to the capacitor 1.5 microfarad, and we have uh, four rectifier IN4007 and 330k ohms and 470 ohms resistor with a uh, capacitor at uh, 22 microfarad 450 volts. Was all are installed now and uh, just add this uh, terminal socket for the output terminal so where we can put the test part of the tester So this is the positive and the negative terminal. So now it's time to install the DC power phone for the input. And we cut the After cutting, we sand it with a uh, sandpaper to clean the edges. And uh, to make it look good when it clean. This is my uh, personal uh, tester only, not for a commercial. So no need to make it look good. As long it works for me, uh, it's okay, no problem. So the needs look good now and uh, ready to use. So we have 
give a final review to our project. So we have the capacitor parallel with the 330k ohms resistor. And we have four rectifier diode and a 330k ohms parallel to the capacitor resistor and 470 ohms uh, resistor and 222 microfar per volts and we have the socket terminal for the output so now we put some insulation for uh, safety purposes I just use here a glow gun just put the uh, insulation on the terminals and to hold uh, some parts just cover those uh, open terminals put some glow on the wires so that it don't move and so and to hold it so as I have said before this is my uh, personal uh, project only this is not for commer commercial so I'm just sharing the video on how to make it So now it's time to check at multi-tester. So I have an analog multi-tester here. I set it to 1000 DC, B, DC volts. So we got here uh, approximately 320 volts DC. So as you can see the needle of the tester it goes back because we have bleeder resistor in uh, our board 330k ohms so uh, as used as a bleeder resistor so now we go on the actual testing on uh, our uh, project we go to the LED backlight of the TV so we check our uh, project now if it is work, working or not so check on the tester we have uh, 320 volts DC now on the LED backlight Tester, it works now. It supplies the two strip of LED light, LED back light. So now we can use this as a power supply or a tester to our uh, LED back light. Thank you for watching. Mm-hmm.